Hello everybody. I'm now sat in the seat that Alec Neal and Lee Johnson did their press conferences after Norwich City and Bristol City drew 1-1 here at Ashton Gate. What a fantastic stadium this is now, by the way. That said, it's probably too big for Bristol City at the moment because the atmosphere was, was pretty ropey. They're clearly in terrible form. And, but it's a magnificent stadium. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the game finished. Oh, to be honest, I'd rather sit here talking about the stadium. Uh, so, the two sides drew 1-1. Now, drew one, uh, one, one. Yannick Wilsch scored his first goal for Norwich City, which was fantastic. Uh, he took it very well. It was good to see. And hopefully we'll get to see more of Yannick in terms of time on the pitch, but also more impact when he's on the pitch. Looking forward to that because that needs to happen, really. It's a big move for him. And... Speaking to him after the game in the mix zone, he's clearly keen to show more about what he can do. I mean, it wasn't like he scored a goal and suddenly he lit up today, but hopefully it's a small step in the right direction. That's it. If you want, if you want something positive to look at, that's really it. Michael McGovern made some half-decent saves at the other end as well. Norwich showed a little more, bit more resilience at the back compared to Saturday, but... I mean, let's be 100% clear here. Bristol City were, were awful. <laughs> Not in terms... I mean, they, they worked hard. I thought they worked hard in the, in the first half as well. And they upped their game after the break. But quality-wise, I mean, they're, they're going to do well not to go down this year, I think. Alec Neal's pretty unpopular with the Norwich City fans. 944 of them here today, by the way. Wow. How did they manage that? Uh, and they were pretty much booing by the end of it too. Uh, I've lost my train of thought there. But yeah, it's not... Um, Alec Neal is not very popular amongst the Norwich City fans, but you'd have to say Lee Johnson's probably less popular with the Bristol City fans than Alec is with the Norwich fans. He's, he's in a difficult position at the moment. But Bristol City just... They, it's so interesting because they were really hoping to kick on this season. They just look so short of quality. They've got a few players out, and, and Gary O'Neill actually missed this afternoon, uh, this evening too, which I think he was disappointed about. Um, so they've got a few issues there. But I mean, this made me think of when I had a season ticket as a Norwich City fan in the in the nineties, those heady days of Championship mediocrity, where y you would long for them to challenge for the playoffs because it it was mediocrity. And I mean, that was all this. This was. Such a mediocre game. It went on and on. I mean, Paddy turned to me and said that the first half felt like it went on for about an hour and a half. And that was supposedly when Norwich were playing well. It's going to be a really long end to the season, I think, because... Well, what? what you, I, I can't, I'm struggling to think of it. You can't really take positives from that. It was bang average. <laughs> Against the side that really really are uh, strug going to really struggle to stay up this year. I, I think Burton probably had more about them, to be honest. It's, just, it's a shame because they've done an amazing job here of, of lifting the club to another level. But uh, as I said, the, maybe the fans and everything about the club aren't quite where they need to be to, to join the infrastructure at the moment, which is kind of the opposite to Norwich, really. But there we go. Anyway, uh, we, we, I've done my line for, uh, with Yannick for the papers and online, so uh, I've done that. Paddy will hopefully join me in a bit, and we'll do. Uh, I'll see if I can get anything a bit more uh, reflective from him. That, that's all I can really manage, though. I, I, it'd be interesting to know, A, what the guys at the Beanback, and girls, of course, guys and girls at the Beanback, uh, back at Carrad felt about this, afternoon, uh, this evening, and also the fans that were here during the game, because, I mean, for me, unless I'm being harsh... It's going to be a long old end of the season if that's what we're going to get from here and there. Uh, interesting, I suppose, that I, I get the impression that Jacob Murphy and Wes were both rested kind of today. They obviously Alec felt they were they're tired looking on Saturday and clearly not very good. Uh, Tim Close had a back injury. I would say Alec said that as if it was like, yeah, Tim's done his back. I, 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 you know, whether that was exactly... Uh, Spot on with with with, <laughs> with what it was. I don't know, but that's what we got told anyway. 
I mean, Michael McGovern did okay. It doesn't really change anything in terms of my views on, on Michael McGovern. I still don't think he's as good as John Reddy, but I mean, that, 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 any change was fair enough today. Stephen Naismith missed a brilliant chance in, in the first half and <laughs> just cannot catch a break, really. And the rest was, was, was what it was, really. I thought Johnny Housen did okay and drove them on well. It was interesting watching, I mean, Aaron Wilbraham struggled. In all honesty, he looked the kind of player he did at Norwich, which sort of put himself about a bit, but I can't do it on his own. Corey Smith actually ran around and had good energy, but didn't really have much quality himself. And they are a side low on confidence. In fact, the best belt they had was immediately after they scored their goal. And Lee Tomlin came on and actually looked like a step above what they had on the pitch. And I'm sure they're missing Tammy Abraham as well. But there we go. Anyway, I'm going to go off, see if I can catch Pad, and we'll be back in a, in a few minutes. Uh, don't have nightmares. It was only, it was only a draw, wasn't it? I, I thought we were going to lose, so actually they're probably a point up on what I thought. Uh, anyway, cheerio. See you in a bit.